video, I just wanted to share really quickly that the whole process from feeding to putting the milk in the refrigerator takes about 25 to 30 minutes. From the time I start milking until she's completely milked out, that takes about 20 minutes. Everything else takes about three to five minutes on either end. So my no fuss approach to sourdough bread video had what I would consider a pretty overwhelming response. And um, that made me decide that I wanted to share some of my no fuss approaches to things like butter and sour cream and mozzarella. But I figured before I shared those videos, I should probably introduce my journey to dairy. Um, if you watched my farm tour video that I posted um, maybe a couple weeks ago, you'll see that we started out with goats. Well, we started out with Josie um, when she was a really young calf. Then we got goats. I no longer have goats, and now I have a second cow. So I kind of wanted to just share with you how we got from there to here. And then my youngest son was born. Um, and at about four or five months old, he started to exhibit a lot of eczema type symptoms. And that led me to kind of explore what was going on with his food, what really would irritate his skin. Um, he was, he was nursing. And so like what I was eating, what would irritate his skin. And uh, I met a lady at an Azure Standard drop, which if you're not already getting some of your bulk groceries from Azure Standard, if you're living in the United States, you should consider it. If for nothing else, I have met some really cool people at Azure Standard Drops. And I don't know if I say that right. I say Azure, I hear people say Azure, potato, potato. But I eventually, I met the lady who would eventually sell me Josephine. Actually, my friend that sold me Josie encouraged me to try goat milk also as, a, as another option. At that time, we were trying to sell our house and had plans to move onto acreage, but we weren't quite there yet. So I wasn't really shopping around. I was just buying raw milk. Fast forward, we move here. Um, I didn't have any plans on getting a cow right away. I had intended on making some improvements on the land and then eventually getting a cow maybe like a year after we lived here. However, Josie's potential buyers did not have land yet, so they backed out of purchasing her. And then my friend offered her to me. She was five months old uh, when I brought her home on July 30th, 2021, which happens to be the two year anniversary of this recording. After having her for a few months, um, I wasn't going to, to breed her until she was a little over a year old, but after having her, and I was having some issues getting a hold of raw milk, I decided I'm going to get goats. Now, we had already done a blind taste test. My family really likes to do blind taste tests to see if we actually dislike things or if it's just the idea of it. So we did a blind taste test comparison between raw goat milk, raw Jersey milk, and store-bought milk. And the only one of my sons who could tell a difference was my oldest and it was a very slight difference he just said it kind of has a a feeling in the back of his mouth but the flavor wasn't any different so I decided to buy goats I bought two pregnant goats from my friend who lives down the road she is the owner and operator of Huevos Rancheros LLC she also does a herd chair had two beautiful bucklings her first freshening and really enjoyed having her. Um, I have four boys, so family of six, and she was producing about a half gallon a day um, kid sharing, which was, was plenty for us. We also, so we really enjoyed the goat milk. I, I didn't really dabble with cheese making. Um, I didn't have a cream se separator, so I didn't make butter. But it was enough for us for fresh drinking. And then um, we also discovered that we enjoy goat meat. It's not our favorite, but it is a nice supplement to while we wait for 
beef to grow out. Um, we may get meat goats in the future, but not here. I bred Josie in February of 2022 after she was um, a little over a year and she calved in November of 2022. A little bull calf, we named him Bo and he is currently growing out at a friend's house. We plan to butcher him next November and anyways I started milking Josie and she was just a peach. She was easy to train. Um, she took to being milked very well. She, at peak, first freshening, which means the first time they have a calf, uh, was giving me two gallons of milk a day while calf sharing. So that meant Bo was with her all day long. And then he went into a stall at night and I would milk her in the morning and they'd be reunited. Um, for those who are unfamiliar with, with the idea of calf sharing. So I've been really pleased with her. I'll... Josie was still pregnant, but nearing her freshening date, I rebred Poppy, one of my goats, and then she kitted again. She had a buckling and a doling, and I started milking her again, but after having been milking Josie for about six months, um, my family just really preferred the raw cow milk versus the raw goat milk. Raw goat milk is fine, but we preferred the cow milk. I, as the primary milkmaid of the family prefer milking one cow. I also prefer the versatility of Josie's milk, the cream. Um, you can make a lot of hard cheeses with goat milk, but in my experience and in all my research, it's harder to do. It doesn't necessarily work as well with cow milk or with, with goat milk. Um, I tried a few hard cheeses with the goat milk and I was unsuccessful. That does not mean it can't be done. You can do hard things. I decided to stick with cows. Mostly because I prefer milking a cow versus milking a goat. That's my preference. We also prefer beef to goat meat, uh, but beef does take longer to grow out to become ready for butcher. And the turnaround time on goats is much faster. Um, it also here requires less input because goats are really good browsers. So there's lots of forage here for them versus cows needing grass. So there are pros and cons to both. We have two acres, so we have to pick and choose and prioritize what we want. And sometimes we have to let things go. And in our case, we decided to let goats go. Josie is currently nine months into her first lactation and she is giving me anywhere between one and one and a half gallons a day just kind of depending on how much green grass she has access to um, it is midsummer it's hot here they don't tend to eat as much when they're hot i listed my goats for sale and i was trying to sell them for almost two months and i had three adult goats one of them had was in milk and had two kids and people just wanted to buy the one that was in milk but i did not want to bottle feed kids so i was having a really hard time find a good home for them and then my friend another friend um she was trying to sell her cow and we hadn't really considered this one her name was galaxy we've renamed her to penelope um she was trying to sell her cow and she presented the idea of a swap and i thought that is a fantastic idea so these girls are both belfares josie's not a true belfare but that's the easiest way to explain what she is which is a jersey dexter cross now josie is a jersey brown swiss dexter penelope is a jersey dexter cross so the dexters are a dual purpose breed and the jerseys are obviously milk cows Penelope was with the bull for two months before she came to my house in June, on June 1st. That was also when Mr. Wilson came home. They came from the same house. Uh, so I recently pregnancy tested Penelope, and she is pregnant, which would put her at being due sometime between January, mid-January and mid-March. Um, I have not yet milked her, but we have drank her milk before and um, both of these girls i had them tested they are both a1 a2 so again my son does just fine 
with the switch from commercial to raw. Some people need to switch to A2, A2, and that is just the proteins that are in the milk. Um, and then there are some people who are straight up allergic to dairy. There's varying things. You have to figure out what it is that you need to do, what your needs are. So yes, my, my two girls are A1, A2. Um, we did not, I, I don't know what the bowl that they've both previously been bred to. Um, I'm planning on breeding to a different bowl next time. Another one of my friends has a bowl and um, he has an A2, A2 Devon. So I plan, yes, my cows are going to be mutts. Um, they're going to be mixed breeds and I'm okay with that because they'll still make meat and they'll still make milk. And uh, I tried to move, but then the wind picked up and you weren't going to be able to hear me. So this way I can block the wind. So my advice when people are wanting to move and get in to dairy animals is start with goats. The raw milk from healthy goats is very comparable to raw milk from a cow. Um, and because they are smaller animals, if you have not been exposed to large livestock, that is a great place to start. Also, they produce less. So you have time to kind of ease into a milking schedule. You have time to ease into having to process milk. Um, I am making about two, two wheels of cheese a week, um, plus butter. And it is a lot of time commitment to being in the kitchen. Um, I'm already in the kitchen a lot, so it's, it's not that much of an additive for me. But it is a learning curve it is, if it's something you've never done. So that's my advice. Take it or leave it. And if posting some information about like our milking equipment is something that you'd be interested in, uh, leave a comment and I will make some more videos about that. And next week I will probably be making jelly from wild harvested Mustang grapes. So if you want to come back to see that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. to Wendy.